camera on this device that I have so as to not create more of shakes. And this we shall begin. Alright folks, today I intend to give a live demonstration of how I learned to dismantle or completely open a Nikon binoculars, the Nikon Eculon T01, this particular model that I'm talking about. It's a very small pocket friendly, pocket sized camera, not a camera, a binoculars, the Nikon Aculon T01 here it's got a small aperture but it's a wonderful device it's got beautiful optics but recently what happened is when I had been using it for some while I realized that the focusing ring of this has become non-functional now as we know Binoculars comprises of a set of lenses. This is the objective lens, which is directed towards the object that we intend to view. This is the eyepiece, which we bring close to our eyes. And then we see through with this eyepiece. And once we get a view from the other end, we bring it in focus by rotating this knob, which brings the lenses forward or backward, thereby bringing that particular object in focus. But what happened with this particular unit was that these lenses, the optical, uh, the objective lenses, they had somehow stopped moving despite the knob being moved. You can see if they would move, they would go forward or backward when I move this knob, but it's not so happening. It's not at all happening. This means that there is a problem with the adjustment. I tried to figure out how I could open this device because it's pretty sleek, smooth, and it doesn't reveal any screws on the outside from where I can probe deeper. So for quite a while, I was very disappointed that I'm unable to open through with this. The maximum I could open was this knob but this doesn't really work much because this knob is just for the uh, this uh, this knob is only for the purpose of rotating the axle for focusing but it does not open this camera so uh, it was a big risk opening this instrument up but finally i found a way and uh, since there are no youtube videos to reveal how this is done i took this opportunity and decided to make this video so here we go, it's pretty easy. First of all, you remove this screw, which is keeping the knob intact with the main ax focusing axle. It's a small point four point screw. So I'll choose the appropriate screwdriver. Thereafter, I remove this. This is not appropriate, it's slipping. fits in well so here I have removed this knob you see it's a small screw you can easily pop it out and once you do so you realize there's a small squarish hole there's a small squarish hole in the center of the knob the purpose of this particular squarish hole is to allow a fixing to this particular point. 
point the front end of the focusing axle which in itself you see is squarish so this knob fits in very well and owing to its fixing and thereafter tightening by this particular screw when you move the knob the knob is free to move around and in doing so it moves the axle okay so we keep these two things aside now comes the funny part we take a flat head screw a broad one we take a broad flat head screw and then we can take any prying tool for that matter it's not necessary that you use a screwdriver and once thereafter okay one more thing i'll do first i'll remove the up the eyepiece lenses so there is this rubber coating on them which is easily removable then you have these units left they are very firmly placed this one is the one with the dioptric adjuster and the other is a plain one so whichever it is both of them they open from your view counterclockwise so you just grab them well and move them so they would open up this is the first unit with a combination of lenses we put it aside take the other side and move this also there's a difference between the two one comes with a dioptric adjuster which gives a little extra margin for focusing because of the need for correction of uh, focusing powers in people with uh, different eye potential or eye powers now we are left with simple box containing lenses two tubular systems connected by a common axle containing lenses so now to open this up you've turn it around you see this there is a groove over here there's a groove over here and there's a groove on the other side okay so i'll begin with this one first there's a groove on this side we'll fix it here and just push it in once you have pushed it in when it's open being open for the first time you'll realize that it's putting up a lot of resistance because what happens is it is stuck this plastic sheet comes off which is stuck to this metallic sheet, uh, metallic tubular system by means of some strong glue so once you're doing it for the first time you make sure that you are not over pushing it you're not applying too much of pressure you're just constantly giving a adequate amount of pressure so as to pry it away so this comes the first one turn it around grab this and pop it out so there comes the first unit then we go to the other side again there is a small gaping here you probe it through and here it comes off as you see the glue spots are here then you take the other side and remove this also now here on this top part here there's a hemispherical hemicircular or a, a, a cavity like cap like structure fixed up here which also falls off you collect that as well now that we have done this much sorry now that we are done through with this we are already almost there 
Now what we require is to remove these lens, lens caps, lens covers on the top part. You see, just grab it firmly. Don't apply too much, too much pressure if it's not coming out easily. Just give it a little while. No excess force, no sharp instruments, no metallic instruments inside. They should just come off easily. Now, let us try to understand the physics or the mechanics of this instrument. Give me a minute. Just a minute. I can sit in the center and give a bit of demonstration now here. Okay. Let's try to understand how this machine or equipment operates. Remember this knob. This was somewhere here. There is a small space, squarish space here. This space fixes aligns properly with this let me do it from my view okay i have fixed it well you see this associates itself very well with the head part of the axle which comes right from the front till the end now what has happened in my particular unit is that this okay what happens is once you move it the axle inside also rotates and when the axle rotates there is a pith or a pitching system which forces probably i can show you this way There is a continuity of this unit a little beyond this. And once we rotate, what happens is there is a pitching mechanism here, a pith or a pitch mechanism. Uh, I need some lights, better lights. Let me show you that. Well, 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 well. What's wrong with this stuff? There, probably you can see this pitch system. There's a pitch screw-like arrangement. Hope you can see. Once we move this knob, this thing moves. You see there? It's moving. And as it moves, what happens is that there is a unit ahead of it which has the fixing point for this groove. And once it is moving, since this entire unit cannot move, it is propelled towards or further away from the eyepiece and thereby it brings the view in focus. Now, in this particular case, what has happened is, I'll pull this out. Sorry. In my particular case, what has happened is, that this unit has broken off. This was supposed to be this unit with the grooves on it 
focusing, focusing, focusing. This thing on the grooves on it was supposed to pierce through here and come out on the other side, but it has gone bad, it has been damaged and is unable to move. This is the real problem that I'm facing. And if it would move, what will happen is, just try to understand, this groove, when it moves, it will be either pulling or pushing this, this particular thing away or closer, either away or closer to the eyepiece. And the extension of this arm is connected to the lens set, the objective lens set. Let's pull them out. Oh, then it will first open up. Okay, to bring that lens thing out, we need to open them for which we need a sharp object, a sharp pin-like thing. So I got this thin piece with a pin-like head, put it in here. And in this lens set, you will see there's a small groove. There probably you can see. Oh. There's a small groove over here. And there's a small groove on the opposite side of it. So you just place this pin over it. And you move it. Uh oh Don't hurry into it. You may damage the lens. I'll bring a, a divider from the mathematical instrument box. That will make things much easier. Sorry guys, sorry to keep you waiting. I left to bring this compass. So again, there is a small groove. Let me show you with the light. Probably, okay, there you see a small groove near the, on the black tip of this side and there is on the opposite another one now since i've got just two hands it's a little difficult for me to show you now i'll be a little dexterous here is the first groove here is the second notch not a groove but a notch and same is on the other side so now all you need to do is take the pin of the compass or the divider and put it here and rotate it it's as easy as like moving a small tube then this thing pops out keep it safe now the lens is free okay so you have to be careful not to drop the lens slowly take it out and put it on a clean cloth 
Thereafter, you can bring out the remaining part of the lens holder assembly. We'll see how the lens holder assembly works after I bring out this other lens. So move it out, move it around and we don't really need to bring the lens capsule out first. You can bring the lens capsule. This is how it is. This is the lens objective lens holding assembly. Now let us reconstruct the entire scheme of this. The way this binocular works. I'm connecting the lens holder assemblies to the focusing unit. Sorry. Now here, this is how the machine or the equipment works. We are not removing the prismatic units. It's possible to remove them, though I haven't. You see, these are kept in place by means of three screws, one here, one here, and one here, in a tetrahedral fashion, sort of. And they bring more sharpness and clarity in the view. But our objective was to see what is wrong with this particular unit. And I have realized that my equipment is unable to focus because of a very simple reason. So to understand that, let me first reconstruct how this equipment works. It's like this. The eyepiece assembly, the objective lens assemblies, this way. The eyepiece assemblies a little separated, right? You can relate it, compare it from here. The objective, the eyepiece, and to focus the eyepiece, there is, where is that? The knob, which goes in here, and the knob is connected to an instrument. Okay, these arms are separable, okay? They can be easily separated. Connected, then this is connected to one of it. This point and this point are fixed in place, so they cannot move. And hence what happens is when we move this, the only thing that is moving is this unit. It comes closer or further. And this is how the lens, as it comes closer or further, the lenses are brought relatively close or far. Got it? It's like this. This unit This is it. Once I start rotating the axle, this axle will move inside this groove. And since this is unable to rotate along with the groove, it will be either brought in or moved away from the eyepiece, thereby bringing a focus. So what we do is I have realized that my particular instrument has both the axle rod broken you can see the axle rod is broken. It has been, for some reason, I don't know why, it has been broken. It is supposed to go through with this, but it has been broken down. And the part remaining, the broken part is still stuck inside. So I'll be removing that. And thereafter, I also need to attach these arms with their appropriate size, appropriate side of lens capsules. Once I'll be able to do this, I think my equipment will be still functional. Okay, so once I do that, I'll show you once uh, how it has been done. But for the time being, let us close this unit back. How would we do so? Hold the unit uh, casing together. First, a lens capsule with the lens arrangement. The empty part this one empty hollow side goes in first the second lens capsule also goes in first or the lens assembly the capsule seems more scientific to say this one also goes in This 
Remember when I'm pushing them in, I'm putting them, I'm sliding them along this place from where the focusing arm unit will attach. So it's easy to do so. The groove settles in firmly. Now I'll put in the focusing cylinder, the focusing ring from the head point on the other side. It comes off from this end that you see. I'm pushing it, it comes off. Then we slide the remaining broken fragment. Okay, it won't fit perfectly because it's broken. And thereafter, we take the lens preventive ring and put them ahead of it. These are the lens preventive rings. Firmly put in place. Thereafter, let us put these eyepieces. In my unit, the diop the diopter, diopter arranger or the diopter adjuster was on the right side, so I'll stay with that. You simply put it in place and slightly tighten it. Then you take the other one, see if there is no dust particle inside, and then you place it and let it sit let it sit firmly don't apply any unnecessary force if it is not fitting well then probably your alignment is not appropriate redo that thereafter thereafter we take the body covers, the plastic covers, and put them back. Now, if you are confused as to which side goes which way, then it's very simple to make out. You see, this side has a small outgrown or an appendage here, which allows for this hanging band. And on one set of this unit, plastic units, when you bring them together, you find this notch. So it's very easy to understand that this one is for this side and the silver line goes on the top. So we'll first put the top one here. Before we do so, we move it and this particular end will push in inside without much force. We just need to ensure that it goes under this sheath when we are doing it, when we are straightening it, you see, this way. Then we take the other part, put it here. All the clips, there are certain clips here, two, three clips. These are well arranged and in opposition. No you put them and then you click it. It just clicks on. Now we take the other piece, but before we do so, we have this rounded one, which we put in back here. This is to prevent the front end of the, again, the silver line goes on the top. And once you're doing so, make sure that this edge overhangs the eye piece, the objective lens holding rings. It should overhang them, you see? It's slightly ahead. Take the other piece put them together and they should click, click firmly in place. Done. Now you take this knob, align this square inside with the square inside, 
take the screw, put it in place, tighten it up. This is done and there the rubber sheath on the eye pieces they go back and then the lens covers and you are back with your instrument it will be functional now you may find that there is could be some I am not sure I haven't seen uh, or come across with that but some people have said that once the lenses are removed then there is some sort of uh, misalignment some collimatic alignment or whatever i don't know but at least for the time being my function and my objective will be fulfilled if i need to just check the insides of the camera or to clean it from the inside or just uh, uh, check out if there is anything apparent with here and if there is any misalignment with the lenses we can surely fix that also with the human ingenuity that we have all right folks thank you so very much for staying along with me uh, one thing one simple observation that this is a fairly expensive piece and uh, i don't intend to make any compliments or comments on that but if somebody is purchasing a f an instrument uh, for a considerable amount of money then the interiors especially if it is from a from a prestigious company then it is expected that the more dependable parts are more sturdy so rather than just simple plastic it could have been some very basic uh, material of say aluminum or something which is more reliable and long lasting and uh, uh, it's uh, it won't make too much of a difference in the costings i believe so if if nikon fellows you are looking at this video it's my humble request that please consider replacing this plastic axle focusing axle by a metallic piece which shall be making this instrument much more reliable and more worthy it's been a wonderful instrument with beautiful optics very sharp images and it's like unbelievably clear so i'm really disappointed when i'm unable to take it out only for the loss of one single side single small fraction of a plastic piece so thank you very much and uh, i'll keep you posted when i try to rectify and if i'm successful in correcting this particular piece that i just shown if i'm able to redo this and make this unit functional i'll get back to you and just for the sake of assurance uh, let's let's look at the serial number it's four no it's the other way around i believe you can see this just to give a sense of surety that it will be the same unit next time i do anything with this so it's i'll read it out it's 0115967 so if i'm able to rectify this unit i shall be extremely glad to share this video with you thank you very much friends thank you bye bye